Hello, hello, we are back for part two of crazy fact about life in Versailles. Let's dive into it. So Versailles was detested by commoners because for most of them, it was the symbol of Queen Marie Antoinette extravagant lifestyle. Actually, let me know if you want a video on her. At the time, most of France was poor and starving. So during the French Revolution, people destroyed the gate of the palace. That gate was made completely of gold. It cost eight million dollars and a hundred thousand gold leaves to rebuild the gate. Did you know that the king and queen always ate cold meals? The distance between the kitchen and the king dining room was so huge that by the time they would bring the food to him it would always be cold. Well I guess the architect didn't really think that through. As I think a lot of you probably know or have probably imagined Versailles is the costliest building in the world. Considering inflation, the palace probably cost 200 to 300 billion. Yes, I said billion to build. It is an unthinkable amount for one residence, even a palace. It took over 30,000 workers to build 700 rooms, 67 staircases, and 1200 fireplaces. All those fireplaces and it was still cold. Note that one third of the budget went straight to the fountains of the garden. Talking about the garden, it is one of the largest gardens in the world. But in the 17th century, the smell of the garden was so overpowering that guests were getting sick. And based on my research, it wasn't strong just because of the smell of the plants and the flower, but probably because so many people were using the garden as a restroom. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed, but if you look at pictures of beds in the king's room, you will notice that they are really small. And although people were very short at the time, well at least way shorter in that century than today, the main reason is that kings and a lot of aristocrats were sleeping sitting. They did not lay down to sleep because it was the position of the dead or the sick. So based on that superstitious belief that only dead people or sick people had to lay down, they slept seated and that lasted all the way to the French Revolution. If you listen to my video on the origin of heels and the origin of wigs, you will note that a lot of things stopped with the French Revolution. If you want, I can also make a video on the French Revolution. Let me know below. The king did a lot of things while people were watching him. He would actually have multiple activities with his family, even just eat and worse, poop in front of an audience. It was part of the member of the court to be part of big events such as the birth of a prince, especially one who was supposed to be a future king because it was a necessary part of their responsibility to vouch for that birth. Somebody needed to be a witness to confirm that the baby, for example, wasn't swiped at birth. But other than that, everything else was made mandatory by the king, especially Louis XIV, because he believed that it owed himself, well, it said that he owed himself to the public and that he had to make his life a spectacle. But one of the big plot behind that idea was that he was trying to keep members of the court as occupied as possible to prevent them from plotting against him. Also, by doing that, everybody wanted to be aligned with the king's schedule and the more aligned with the king's schedule and the more seen you would be, you would gain more chances to climb through the ladder of hierarchy and be liked by the king. So this was part two of my crazy shocking fact about Versailles. If you didn't see part one, it's gonna be linked below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to leave a suggestion or a comment below. Thank you so much. Bye.